Hallelujah. Welcome again, beloved of the Most High God, to another prayer gathering on Hotline to Heaven. Praise the Lord, everyone. Do I have people gathered on Hotline today that love God? Have you come to give him the praise that is due to him? Have you come to give honor to whom honor is due? Come on, open your mouth and give him glory. We serve a God who created all things, but himself was not created. We serve a God who spoke and this world and everything that is in it leapt into existence. We serve a God who orders the destinies of generations of nations. We serve a God who existed from the eternal beginning. We serve a God who existed before history began and as high and lofty and mighty as he is, beloved of the most high God and oh, so deservedly so, this same God still gets into the nitty gritty of our lives, into the very trenches of our lives and gets his holy hands dirty with the mess of our lives, figuratively speaking. Oh, we serve a God who crowns you, who crowns me with his tender mercies and his loving kindness. We serve a God who daily loads you with his benefits. We serve a God who loves you with an everlasting love and will never, he can never leave you, abandon you, overlook you or forsake you. Ah, let everything that is within you rise up in praise to this God, who is also your father, your savior, and your great redeemer. Oh, Imela, Imela, Okaka, Onyekeluwa, Imela, Imela. Ezemo, sing it to him. Imela, 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 Okaka, Onyekelua, Imela, Imela, Ezemo. Lord, we thank you, your people thank you, the great one, creator of the universe. We thank you, we thank you, king of kings. Sing, we thank you, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, the great one, creator of the universe. We thank you, we thank you, king of kings. I praise you, Lord, I praise you. I praise you, the great one, creator of the universe. I praise you, I praise you, Ezemo. Imela Chimo, Imela, praise him, Imela, thank him, Okaka, Onyekelua, Imela. Imela Ezemo. Yes, we've come to praise you. We lift our voices to sing, We love you. You are everything to us, Lord, and we exalt your holy name. Oh, Jesus, 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 all over this hotline. Let him hear the praises flow out of your being. Let him hear your mouth open to exalt him and worship him. 
we lift our hands to you. We bow our hearts to you, Lord, because you're deserving of the highest praise. You're deserving of the worship of your people. You're deserving of our adoration. Besides you, we seek none other. We desire none other and we know none other. You stand alone, Lord. You are without any comparison. There is none that can be likened to you. There is none that comes close to you. You are God alone, the self-existing one. Imela, we praise you, our great God, creator of the universe. We praise you. We thank you, King of Kings. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus forever. Praise be to your name. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Yes, let your heart continue to be poured out in love. Let your heart continue to be poured out in adoration to your rock of ages, the rock of your life, the rock of your heart, the rock that never fails, our rose of Sharon, our divine beautifier that beautifies our lives, our balm of Gilead, hallelujah, our bread of life, our living water and the glory of our countenance. Oh, I just want to praise you, Lord. I lift my hands to say, I love you, you are everything to me, and I exalt your holy name, Lord, I exalt your holy name, oh, I exalt your holy name on high. Lord, I just want to praise you, Lord. I lift my hands to say, I love you. You are everything to me, and I exalt your holy name, Lord. I exalt your holy Lineem I exalt your holy name on high. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we exalt your name because there is no name like the name of Jesus, the name by which we are saved, the name by which we are delivered, the name that is our place of safety and security, the name that brings peace to the heart of your people. Oh, glory be to your name. <clears throat> Brethren, there is a scripture a lot of you must be familiar with that says when you strike the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. And here it's referring to the pastor of the Lord's flock. Why? Why does that happen? Because the shepherd is the guardian of the sheep, the protector of the flock, the, the center, the gatherer, the guide that keeps the sheep the keeper of the sheep, the glue that holds the flock together. And, of course, the lover of the flock. If anything befalls the shepherd, of course, it will hit the flock very hard. And they are in great danger of scattering. And that's why the devil always seeks different ways to strike and take out the shepherd of the flock. You are going to pray right now for anyone in your family, both immediate or extended family unit, who is like the shepherd. This person is the glue, or it may be persons, one or two people, the glue that holds your family unit together. When others are scattering, 
seeking to scatter the family. They are the ones who will rise and leave no stone unturned to ensure that the family is held together. The integrity of the family holds. They are the gatherers, the ones that gather the family, everyone together. This person is the protector of the family. The provide for those who are less fortunate in the family. Very large hearts. They are the tree under which family members come to escape the heat of life. And when tragedy strikes such people in a family, it is so or can be so devastating because of the huge role that they play in that family. And the Lord alone knows why he wants us to pray this prayer because it really wasn't one that I had in mind. I had already prepared um, as I was waiting on the Lord what we're going to pray about. And at the last minute, the spirit of the Lord laid this strongly upon my heart. And um, like I keep saying, it is the Lord's hotline and not Nani's hotline. So we're going to pray. I want you to, in your mind's eye, see that person that plays this role in your family. Just see that person in your mind's eye and as you pray, direct your prayers towards that person and for that person. And pray with me. Father, you are the defense and keeper of your people. Hide so and so. Call them by name. Hide this person, this family member. It could be your big brother, your junior sister, your uncle, whoever it is that plays that role in the family, whose demise or injury or calamity befalling them will rock the family, literally the very foundation of the family unit, and pray. Ah, Father, you are the defense and the keeper of your people. Hide my, call their name, in your divine light. And Lord, render them invisible to the eyes of wicked, evil and malicious and unreasonable men and women who are monitoring them to do them great injury, to cause them grave harm, to destroy or kill them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, pray for that person. Stand in the gap for such a person. Pray. Stand on the walls of their lives and pray, my Father in heaven. You are the defense of your people. You are the keeper of your people. You who does not sleep or slumber, keep my so-and-so. Whether it's your sister, your brother, your uncle, your mom, whoever it is you're praying for that plays this vital role, this key role that if they were to be removed, it will rock your family. It will literally shake the foundation of your family. Things will start to scatter. Pray, my Father in heaven. Arise, O oh God, and hide so and so in your divine light. Render them invisible to the eyes of the wicked, evil, malicious, and unreasonable men and women that are monitoring them to do them great injury. <laughs> to cause them great harm, to destroy or kill them. Yes, pray. Pray that the light of God, <clears throat> that light that the Bible describes as unapproachable light in all of its divine intensity, in all of its divine brilliance and heat will surround this person that you're talking about, that you're praying for, and render them invisible. Yes, Lord Jesus, render this person invisible. Render them unmolestable and untouchable. In Jesus' name, oh, pray, 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 pray for them that the light of God will be their defense, will be round about them, that unapproachable light, hallelujah, that surrounds you, oh God, that light Light of divine brilliance and intensity. Oh, kakaka kaka and I command it to hide. My auntie, my uncle, whoever it is. From the eyes of evil and wicked and malicious. Men and women that the enemy has raised up to monitor them for evil, to monitor them, to cause them grave harm, to monitor them to 
injure them, to destroy them. Father, hide them in your light and render them invisible to the desire of the enemy to harm them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now continue to pray and pr- say, Father, be the impenetrable shield round about so and so and cover every weak and vulnerable area of their lives from violent assaults from satanic or human agents in jesus name i pray amen yes pray my father you are our shield and you are our buckler you are our fortress round about us Arise, O God, and be the impenetrable shield round about. You know the person you're praying for and call them by name. Cover every weak area, every vulnerable area, every open area of their lives that the enemy has his eyes set on. Ah, Kapata Shika, that area of their lives that he has targeted and earmarked to attack them, that area that he desires to attack them in order to bring them down or take them out. Father, be the impenetrable shield and the fortress round about them. Cover their weak and vulnerable areas from violent assaults, from satanic or human agents. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Yes, it's important we pray this prayer because every human being has a weak area, has a vulnerable area. That is just the nature of our humanity, of our human frame. We have areas of frailties, areas of vulnerabilities, areas of fragility. So pray, my Father in heaven, arise, O God, and be the impregnable wall round about this person I'm praying for. Be the impenetrable shield round about them from every violent and wicked assault, from evil agents of evil agents, human or spiritual, in the name of Jesus Christ. Asiti shikana sanga mama makanda sikinanta. Yes, pray. Asakapada sikapada sakanda. Because, dear saints, beloved of the Lord, the devil knows our weaknesses. He knows our vulnerabilities and he doesn't play fair at all. So pray, pray, pray that the Lord will be their impenetrable shield of protection on all sides and in every area of their lives. He will make them a fortified city and fortify the weak and open and vulnerable areas of their bodies, of their jobs, of their lives. If they have been a benefactor to so many in the family, the enemy will seek to attack the source of their prosperity. So pray (coughs) and decree the covering of God, the divine fortification of the Almighty round about them from deadly and violent attacks and assaults in the name of Jesus Christ. In fact, in fact, in fact, you, you, you who are praying may actually be that person. You may be the one who is playing that role in, in your family or for your family members. So in all humility, pray this prayer for yourself. And lastly, <coughs> let us pray that they be delivered from oh, mouths opened against them. Any mouth that is opened against them, any tongue that has been sharpened against them in cruelty, in treachery, and in violence. Yes, pray for them and say with me, my Father in heaven, deliver them from those whose mouths are opened against them in treachery, in betrayal in cruelty and in violence and slander in order to destroy every good thing you have done or are doing in their lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, pray. Pray for them that our God, the defender of his people, will arise and be their vindication. Yes, pray. Father, deliver my whoever that person is to you. Uh, Or if you're the one who plays that role, 
<clears throat> pray this prayer for yourself. Deliver my so and so from those whose tongues have been sharpened like knives and their mouths are open in slander, in treachery, in cruelty, and in violence against my loved one in the name of Jesus Christ. In order to destroy every good thing you've done and are doing in their lives, Lord, in order to take them out in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Arise! Yes, continue to pray with me and say, Arise and avenge them. Turn the table on their foes, O oh Lord. Turn the table on their adversaries. Cause the wickedness and the great evil directed against them to enhance and display and showcase your power and your glory in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you're the God who vindicates your people. Arise, O God. Stare yourself, man of war. Stare yourself, our heavenly warrior, and fight for your son. Fight for your daughter. Fight for this, my loved one, and vindicate them in the face of this treachery, in the face of this betrayal, in the face of those whose mouths are opened in cruelty and violence against them in order to destroy them. In Jesus' name. Oh, Rakasete Sheke Babakandas Diaga. Oh, Lakana Sende Singa. And now, saints of God, pray this same prayer for your spiritual shepherd, for your pastor. There are so many people represented on this hotline who have different pastors. So pray for your pastor. Listen to me. You can never pray enough for your man of God or your woman of God. You can never pray enough for your pastors. They go through a lot. I'm a pastor and I know, and I have so many pastor friends. And <clears throat> from what they keep sharing, pastors go through a lot. And saying a lot is putting it mildly. A lot of their suffering and their pain is endured in silence because of the position they are in. They are the object of all kinds of attacks because the devil knows if I can take him out, if I can take her out, if I can diminish him, if I can weaken him, if I can compromise him or her, if I can distract him or her, if I can ensnare him or her, if I can seduce him or her, I can get at the flock. Because that is really what he's after. The flock of Jesus Christ. Because the flock of Jesus is the very heart of Jesus and he knows that if he can take out the under shepherd, the pastor under the great shepherd, he will get at the flock. So please lift up your pastors in prayer daily. Whatever the spirit of the Lord lays on your heart to pray for them, pray for them. There is no gift greater than your love fueled fervent prayers for your pastors. <clears throat> and so, I want us to lift our voices now and pray these same prayers for your pastor. Pray that the light of God, hey, that light that God himself dwells in, that unapproachable light of divine brilliance, of divine radiance, of divine intensity and heat will surround your pastor. Call your pastors by name. <clears throat> We'll surround your pastors. We'll surround their household. We'll surround them in their going out and in their coming in. Oh, pray, pray, pray to the God who is their defense and their keeper, that this light will render them invisible to the eyes of the wicked, to the eyes of the evil ones, to the eyes of those who arise in diabolic mischief, <clears throat> to the eyes of perverse and wicked and unreasonable men and women, agents of darkness that the devil has raised against them to 
harm them, to hurt them, to injure them, oh, to destroy them, to destroy their ministries, to destroy the works of their hands, to keep them in misery. Ah, pray, pray, pray that the Lord will arise and render them invisible to whomsoever the enemy has unleashed against them by reason of his light round about them in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, pray that the Lord will be an impenetrable shield round about your man of God, round about your woman of God. Listen to me. Your pastor, they are men, they are women of like passion, they are flesh and blood. <clears throat> They have the same sensibilities that you do. They are touched by the things that touch you. They have children and their children grieve them the same way your children grieve you. They battle things that you battle. And then they have the added responsibility of caring for the Lord's flock. And they do it joyfully, sacrificially. Without complaining, it is their joy to do it. But I want you to know that they go through the stuff that men and women that humanity go through on this earth. Risiti Shikanda, I know a pastor whose family, everybody in the family had the COVID. His wife, his wife's parents that were staying with him, his family members, everyone. And yet he still had to be the father to the flock, the shepherd to the flock. But he was dealing with this at home. So pray, pray for your pastors, your men of God, your women of God. That the Lord will be an impenetrable shield round about them. That the Lord will cover the weak areas, every weak area, every area of fragility, every area that is like the shell of an egg that if the enemy attacks, hey, things will fall apart. The Lord sees those areas. Pray, Father, be their impenetrable shield round about them. Cover the weak and vulnerable areas of their lives from violent assaults, from satanic or human agents, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, fortify the fragile and the weak areas of their lives. Cover their vulnerabilities, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, satashite seke papangananta, in Jesus' name. Oh, fasika nasakanda, and pray, pray, pray that the Lord will deliver them. The Lord will avenge them. The Lord will be their vindication. Oh, from those whose mouths are opened in slander, in treachery, <clears throat> in cruelty and in violence against your man of God or woman of God. This is one of the primary ways that the devil attacks the shepherd of the flock. He stirs up people to slander your pastors. He stirs up people to gossip, evil gossip against your pastors. He stirs up people to speak evilly against your pastors. Why? In order to turn the heart of the flock. That is just the reason. To turn the heart of the flock away from the pastor so that they will not be able to receive the life-giving word that the Spirit of the Lord has given them for the flock. That's the reason. In order to put a bridge, not a bridge, a wall between the pastors and the flock so that they cannot be effective, so that they cannot effectively do the work of the ministry. That is the <laughs> design of the enemy. We have to be aware of the wiles and the devices and the designs of the evil one. So pray, Father, arise and be the vindication of my pastor. Avenge my pastor of every mouth, every tongue that is opened or has been opened against my pastor in 
treachery, in gossip, in slander, evil gossip, my father, in order to harm your work in their hands, in order to destroy your work in their hands, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And now we're going to pray this prayer, this same prayer for the head of your household. The head of your household. The head of your household is the priest of your home. The head of your household is the pastor of your home. Even if the person does not know God now, pray for that person. And of course, the head of your household is the husband or father in that house. Now, of course, if you're a single parent and a woman, you are obviously the head of your household. So you pray these prayers for yourself and pray the same prayers for the head of your household. Yes, open your mouth and pray fervently for that head, your husband, the father, or if you are the head of the household, <clears throat> pray, Father Surround me in your glorious light, in your intense light, your light in all of its divine brilliance, your light in all of its divine intensity, that light that surrounds you, that unapproachable light. Surround me with it, Lord. Surround my husband, the father of this home, in this light, O oh God. And render the head of this home invisible, invisible to every monitoring and surveilling eye of evil that is monitoring the head of my home, that is monitoring the father of my household, in order to bring evil, to rain down upon him, in order to bring calamity his way in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you're the head of the household, you pray that prayer for yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive your light round about me in my going out and in my coming in. By reason of this light, I am in visible. By reason of this light, I am unmolestable and untouchable. To every assault and attack directed against me, directed against the head of my home, in Jesus' name. Now pray, pray. Pray. Dear saints, <clears throat> that the Lord will deliver the head of your home from every wicked and evil slander, from mouths opened in cruelty, in viciousness, in violence, in order to kill the head of your home, to kill the work of their hands. Pray. It could be in their workplace. It could be in their ministry. It could be in his, um, his friend or circle, his circle of friends. So pray, Father, every mouth that has been opened or is opened in treachery, in cruelty, in evil slander, in wicked slander or gossip against the head of my home, aye, against me as the head of my home, in order to destroy or injure me, in order to destroy the works of my hands, in order, my Father, to take me out. Father Satish Kamana, in order to destroy my reputation, arise, oh God, you are my defense. You are my vindication. You are the God who causes the righteousness of my cause to shine as the noonday sun. You are the God who causes my ways, my father, to <clears throat> To be proven innocent. Ah, arise, O oh God, and avenge me. And turn the table on my foes, on my adversaries, Lord. For you are the God who avenges me. You are the God who avenges the head of my home. You are the God who avenges the father of this household. In Jesus' name. Ah, Satashikanta Staraka. Cause the fear of my head of my household to come upon them, cause them to be filled with terror, 
for his sake, oh God. When they open their mouth to speak evil, to slander, to speak treacherously, to betray or to speak cruelly against the head of my home, against the father of this household, against me as the head of this household. Arise, oh God, and cause my terror, the terror of the head of this household, to come upon them. Ah, and Ashinka, that their hearts will melt within them and they'll be filled with great fear, a shaking of their loins by reason of this fear and terror in Jesus' name. Amen. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified in our lives, O God. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory, Lord, and all the honor. Yes, you are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Hey, I give you glory, Lord, and all the honor. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. Oh, Jesus, thank him. Thank him for what he's done. The Lord has done a lot today. We have obeyed him. <clears throat> And he will surely make his name great in the lives of everyone that you've opened your mouth to pray for. Yes, Lord, we thank you for what you have already done, for what you have taken care of concerning these ones that we have laid upon your altar of grace and mercy. We thank you, Father, because you're the one who reveals to us the things that are hidden in darkness, the things that are fenced in, in order that we may do according to your will. And we have done according to your commandments. And we thank you, hallelujah, for going ahead of us and proving and manifesting your power and <clears throat> magnifying your name in the lives of those we have lifted up to you in jesus name hallelujah glory be to his name our time is spent and we will continue next time I believe the Lord has accomplished what he wanted to accomplish. Hallelujah. But before we close, I want to give an opportunity to anyone who has joined this hotline to heaven. And you are a God fearer, a God lover. That's why you're on hotline. Because you want to pray. But yet, you cannot confidently say that you have ever received Jesus Christ. As your Lord and Savior, you have never handed over the reins of your life to him as your Savior. You have never come to him and confessed that you are a sinner in need of salvation and recognized him as your Savior who is able to save you from your sins and give you eternal life. <clears throat> I want you to know that you can receive Jesus Christ right now by faith through prayer. And as you know, prayer is talking to God. Oh, just say this prayer and mean it from your heart. Lord Jesus, I need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I open the door of my heart to you. And I receive you as my Savior and my Lord. Thank you for forgiving my sins, and they are many. And giving me eternal life with you forever. I know you have a wonderful plan for my life. Reveal this plan to me so that I may fulfill destiny. Strengthen me and fill me with your Holy Spirit because I cannot live this life of faith in my own power. I receive him now and I thank you for filling me with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations to anyone who prayed this prayer. If you prayed this prayer, meaning it from the bottom of your heart, you are a son, you are a daughter of the Most High God. Glory be to God. Welcome to the family of God. Welcome to the kingdom of God. There's a lot of rejoicing in heaven right now. Hallelujah. 
And now the next thing you need to do is to let someone know of your decision for, of faith, your decision to be a follower of Jesus Christ. You can get in touch with us. Just go to ICCLA.com. All our contact information is there and email us and let us know that you got saved on Hotline to Heaven. Glory be to Jesus. And you can join us for any of our services on Facebook or YouTube. Just go to ICCLA.church. Hallelujah. Or if you're able to, you live in the Los Angeles area, you can come visit us. Our address is on ICCLA.com. And let us know. Let any of the protocol officers know that you got saved on Hotline to Heaven. We would love to meet you and rejoice with you and pray for you. Glory be to God. Congratulations. I'm, I'm always so excited when I pray this prayer because just per adventure, there is one soul that receives Jesus into their hearts as their savior. Hallelujah. And now as we close, I want you to declare this and speak it prophetically over yourself. In the words of a king, there is power. And you've been made a king and a priest unto the Lord. And as you declare it, it will stand. For the Lord will honor the words of your mouth. Because he says, by our words we are condemned and by our words we are acquitted. Glory be to Jesus. So as you declare his word, his word by the quickening of the Holy Ghost will be brought into performance for you. So declare with me. My Father in heaven, I thank you for energizing me, invigorating me, and strengthening me with all strength and your divine energy from your realm of majestic glory. I arise right now in this thy strength with seeing eyes, with hearing ears, and a discerning spirit. By the blood of Jesus Christ, by which I'm sealed, my spouse, my children, and every member of my household, by reason of this blood, and by the power in the name of Jesus Christ that is enthroned over my life, I decree that no evil, no terror, no calamity or bloodshed, no violence in the skies or on the road or in any building that I enter or in my home will be able to come near me. It will be far from me and my household. It will be far from me in my workplace. It will be far from me in my car. It will be far from me wheresoever I go. In Jesus' name, glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Go forth into your day in the name of Jesus Christ, in whom and through whom you win always. Hallelujah.